Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us for the Iowa Great Places grant funding webinar. My name is John Berg, and I'm the, the Arts and Community Development Program Manager at the Iowa Arts Council. The Iowa Great Places program seeks to cultivate the local character and authentic qualities of Iowa neighborhoods, districts, communities, and regions. At its core, the program embraces creative placemaking with the approach of building upon local creative and cultural assets to build a more livable community and vibrant public places. The program provides Iowa Great Places designation and the opportunity for funding of supported vertical infrastructure project as defined by Iowa code. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. All lines are currently muted and will be for the dur duration of the presentation to reduce background noise as this webinar is being recorded. A link of the recording of the webinar will be emailed to everyone after the presentation. If you have any questions during the webinar, please feel free to use the Q&A feature on your screen, and you'll be also able to use this feature if you are experiencing technical difficulties. And at the end, you can always email us with additional questions. The purpose of this webinar is to familiarize yourself with the Iowa Arts Council Division of the Department of Cultural Affairs, which is a state agency that manages the designation program, and to introduce you to the Iowa Great Places funding process and tell you how to successfully apply using the online application system slide room. So let's begin with an overview of the Iowa Arts Council. The Iowa Arts Council is your state agency. We are a division of the Iowa Department of Cultural Affairs, and the department empowers Iowa to build and sustain culturally vibrant communities by connecting islands, people, places, and points of pride that define our state. The department impacts Iowans through the State Historical Society of Iowa, the Iowa Arts Council, and Produce Iowa, the State Office of Media Production. The Iowa Arts Council is the arts arm of the department. Our mission is to cultivate creativity participation and learning in the arts. We administer funding, networking, and learning opportunities that support arts and culture in Iowa. And this includes the Iowa Great Places Program. So let's take a look at the process and timeline for the Iowa Great Places Grant Program. Before you apply for an Iowa Arts Council administered program, it's important to determine whether the program is right fit for you. So to do so, make sure you have reviewed all available material for the program. Please note that the Iowa Arts Council's application process is entirely paperless and all program materials are available online and all communication will be sent electronically. Go to the Iowa Arts Council's website through iowaculture.gov forward slash arts, then click on the grants tab. Here you'll find a list of Iowa Arts Council administered programs. Download the guidelines for each specific program that you wish to apply for, in this case, the Iowa Great Places funding, funding grant program, and each Arts Council administered program has a different set of requirements and guidelines that applicants must follow. Please make sure you closely read and understand these guidelines. The guidelines also include a scoring rubric so you can see how an application will be evaluated. Third step is to uh, visit the Iowa Arts Council's application portal at iowaartscouncil.slideroom.com. Here you'll be able to view a summary of the application requirements by clicking on the link to the program which you wish to apply for. To view the application requirements, you must create an account at SlideRoom and log in. After logging in, you will have access to the narrative questions, word limits, and upload requirements. All material must be submitted online via SlideRoom, and the Iowa Arts Council does not accept any material submitted via mail or email nor does it accept late material after the deadline passes. Once you've re reviewed all of the app available material, contact the Iowa Arts Council staff. This is especially recommended for first time applicants, as well as those who haven't applied for Iowa Arts Council program in the, the last couple of years. Staff is available to answer your questions, make sure the grant is the right fit and review drafts of applications. Make sure you contact staff well in advance of these deadlines. So at this point, we'll go through a little bit of the pre-application timeline. Uh, the pre-application deadline, uh, the pre-application is open now, and the deadline is September 20th. Once the deadline occurs, the pre-applications will receive staff feedback and review, 
as well as feedback from the Iowa Place, Great Places Citizen Advisory Board. Following the pre-application review and feedback, finalists will be determined. On October, by October 4th, you, you will receive communication uh, and an invitation to submit a full application if you are invited to submit a full application. The full application deadline is November 1st, 2022. In December, we'll announce the funding award notification and the funding period will be January 1st, 2023 to December 31st, 2025. Now let's take a look at the Iowa Great Places Grant Program Overview. This is going to do the Iowa Great Places have the opportunity to apply for grant funding to support eligible types of vertical infrastructure projects expenses. Eligible projects must be integrated with a shared community vision and set of strategies, involve significant public-private partnerships and collaboration, and focus on the development of local and regional cultural assets. Let's review some of the eligible project activities and expenses. Those include construction, land acquisition, major renovation and repair of a building or apparent structure and site development. Some of the changes and reminders for FY23, all currently designated and unfunded during their currently des current designation period, great places may bring forward applications for funding. During the pre-application round, applications may submit up to three project proposals to be considered for Great Places funding. And finally, requests for eligible types of planning activities related to the design phase of eligible vertical infrastructure projects may be considered for funding. Now let's go through a little bit of the program support and what the program does not support. Uh, items including leases of buildings, operational expenses, ongoing utilities or projects that occur prior to or after the funding period, routine or recurring maintenance, standalone planning and design phases of the project, including, including vision plans, project concept drawings, public art plans, or cultural master plans, and construction of re recreation related structures like splash pads, sports facilities, and trails unless cultural elements are embedded in the project. Cultural is defined as pertaining to the arts, humanities, and sciences. So in relation to the grant awards, for information purpose, informational purposes, some of our previous grant awards from 2016 to 2021 range from 31,000 to 400,000 with an average grant award of 217,000. Now we'll talk a little bit about the match requirement. The Iowa Great Places grant funding program is a one-to-one -one match. Match must be secured, dedicated to the eligible facility infrastructure expenses. A legitimate part of the proposed facility infrastructure project must be expended within the eligible funding period. Now let's go over some of the pre-application elements. In the project information section, you'll want to include a community, your community's vision plan. This includes part of the vision plan that includes the projects for which you are seeking Great Places funding. Next, we'll ask about, ask about unexpected current event, events and effect on the vision plan. So this includes, includes any unexpected events in the past three years. For example, COVID-19 pandemic, derecho storm, major flooding that have affected your submitted vision plan that is a part of your designation. Next, we'll ask for the project description and describing the vertical infrastructure project and the project timeline, which includes the start and end date 
of, the, of your major project activities. Next, we'll ask about the project budget. The project element is the project budget is important because it asks you to indicate the total anticipated project cost, including the grant request, cash match, cash match needed, and ex additional project expenses, eligible vertical infrastructure expenses, the source of the cash match, and the cash match source verification, the total supplement project expenses the supplemental project expense description and the total budget. Next, you'll wanna include the project totals. And this should only include eligible vertical infrastructure expenses. Additionally, we'll ask for the total secured cash match for the project. And this should only include the cash match that is currently secured for eligible vertical infrastructure expenses that occur within the eligible funding period. Once that's completed, we'll ask for additional projects. As a reminder, you're allowed to submit up to three in the pre-application round for consideration. And it will ask the same questions for the additional two projects. Now we'll go into slide room to take you through what it will look like on the application side. So once you log in and create an account through slide room and enter into the program entitled Iowa Great Places Funding Pre-Application 2022. You'll then be asked to enter in elements for your primary contact information. This is who will be responsible for the grant. And then your authorized official information, which is an individual that can sign on behalf of the organization and be responsible for uh, closing out of the grant. As I mentioned earlier, items that we'll be looking for for the Great Places applicant information, include several pertinent information fields, including applicant state, county, zip code, phone number to be contacted, and then the project information, which includes your community and project title. We do ask about historic preservation elements when, when de uh, dealing with projects that know, have, are in a known historic district to inquire about section 106 in the National Historic Preservation Act. From here, you'll go into all the pre-application elements, including the vision plan, the fields to determine uh, which projects you're including into that so section of the project. And then once you finish these, um, these steps, you can then select questions eight and nine, whether you have additional projects. One thing to keep in mind, this does have a limit of 3,000 characters. So you want to enter in and uh, enter your responses into another document in order to determine and uh, pare down any of those responses to fit within the character limits. Finally, we encourage you to reach out to uh, Iowa Great Places staff, uh, myself. If you have any questions about the funding program, um, we will be including site visits uh, for those projects that will be a part of the, the, the full application round. So please reach out if you have any additional questions that I mentioned before, we are able to review um, um, pre-applications uh, in advance of the deadline. Um, for all applicants that wish to receive that feedback. 
Here's my contact information. You're welcome to reach out with any further questions. As a final reminder, this uh, session is being recorded, so we will we will record the include the recording on the the pay on the grant page as well as sending to all eligible communities. Thank you again for joining us for the Iowa Great Places grant funding webinar, and have a great rest of your day.